Hello amigos, Stark Sid here and welcome back to Night in the Woods. Last time we hung out with Gregory and we found out he has boyfriend troubles. Well, not exactly bro boyfriend troubles, he's just worrying. So let's just jump back in. I'm going to go back into another sleeping sequence, I believe. Sleepy time? See. Si. Yeah. Hmm. She's so precious. Whoa. That's another that I need to look for four. Sequences are getting sequences are getting weirder and weirder. It's kind of alarming. One time I tried to play, start playing the viola, I never started. I got the viola, but never actually started. Tuning was a little hard for me to do, so I'm just like, whatever. So I'll just stick with piano and guitar. Is this a train? So weird. This is very strange. What do they mean?
What does it all mean? Hold on, guys. I got two. I need two more. This is taking longer than I anticipated. Alright guys, I'm gonna speed up through some of the walking sequences because this is taking a while. Ah! train on top of a train? Uh -huh. That's so weird!
Okay, now to go back. These dream sequences are so weird. I'm gonna keep re reiterating that. Happy Halloween, dude! Get spooked or something. It's Halloween. Annual harvest play tonight at the old pickaxe. Come out and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. Ooh. Hi. I said I was gonna hang out with Greg for this one, so... Now I could look at. Oh. There's nothing in there. Oh. There is something in there. Whoa! What is this? What is this? This is so weird. Oh, wait. <laughs> I know how to open this. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, left 15. Thanks, Granddad. Aha, it's opening. What the hell? It's an old tooth? Yeah, that's a tooth. Granted, I put a tooth in a safe in the basement. Well, never know when you'll need an extra tooth. You and me, tooth, we're gonna go far. I'll take it. Mysterious. That is the weirdest thing to see. That's a basement? An entrance to the basement from the second floor. Who would have thunk it? Weird. I've definitely grown quite a bit since then. A little bit taller. Regular but wider. Granddad said I was sturdy. Screw it, I am sturdy. The boxes. Mother. Hi, Mother! Hey, Mom. Mm-hmm. Um. You okay? Nothing's wrong. You're lying. Ooh. I knew... Sh she knows something. I knew she... Uh. So, honey, do you feel like talking about school yet? Um, not really. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because, honey, I'm all ears. I really am dying to find out why you decided... Why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we'd made as a family. Jeez, Mom! Where's this coming from? You know you're the... The first Burowski to go to college. Yeah, Mom, I know. I only heard that since I was, like, six. Well, honey, we'd been planning for it since you were born. Spent a good 18 years and got into all kinds of trouble. Just for you to decide it wasn't where you should be. Are you like, an a are you like having one of your mood swings again? Ugh, like I'm the moody one in this house. You are the moody one in this house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. No wonder she's been stressed.
what's happening to the house? Maybe it just isn't where we should be. Mom, this isn't funny. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what? Maybe if I had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No. No. You do not get to. Maybe you wanted me to get out of here. Because you never got around to doing it yourself. Maybe I'm just the most recent fa failure in the line of failures and that is our family. Oh, shit. I'm leaving now. You know, it's actually, I think it's okay for people not go to college. It's sometimes it's not their thing. Sometimes they can't handle it. And you know what? It's not okay to shame people who don't go to college. You don't know their situation. You don't know if it makes them stressed out or anything. Hey, as long as they're happy in life, who should, why should we judge? I graduated college. It was pretty good three years. But I don't think I'm going back. Wouldn't want to. Especially when it's expensive. Oh hey, it's Aunt Molly. Aunt Mall Cop. Hey Aunt Mall Cop. Mall Cops don't carry guns, May. Jeez! Guess you need that gun for what are you doing? Blocking out the road. Oh yeah, you wouldn't want to do that without a gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? Nope, tell me now. Once. You kill him? No. So you're saying you don't really need it then? You should carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. I'll look into it. Ooh. Chamber of Commerce. Aw, everything's so great and harvesty! Which is basically just less spooky Halloween? Whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that. Or I could wander a bit. Take in the harvesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. No, oh, okay. You hype for the harvest? Um, harvest is pretty dumb, right? I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That actually sounds really cool. It is. Gonna get a pizza, too. All to myself. Wow, I have a life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? Same. Yep. See ya! Later! She's still sad about her mama. Video outpost two. I actually want to say hi to Angus. Angus! Happy Halloween! Ha ha, hey, you too. You feeling spooky? Oh, extremely, can't you tell? Do your spooky face. Ah, he just moves his ears. Angus, you're just smiling. It's adorable, that's scary. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> you can see that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice effort, though. <laughs> I like Angus. He's a big sweetheart. Meow. Meow. 
Meow.